agenda, that we're not good enough, that we're not smart enough, that we don't belong. And Go watch that video. Really interesting take on what it's like as a woman sitting in the boardrooms of some of the biggest companies in the world and meeting presidents, prime ministers, whatever. And as a Fortune 500 consultant, I've sat in a lot of those boardrooms. Now, as a woman, when you go into these places, and I'm from an ethnic minority, believe it or not, despite the accent, you have to show up with your A-game. You have to show up with aces up your sleeve. You have got to be prepared to answer anything that comes at you. You need to know that company inside out. And as a consultant, that's my job. That's what I do. But the amount of times I've walked into boardrooms and I've sat there ready to give a presentation or to discuss an issue that needs addressing and the C-level management are clearly incompetent, have very little understanding of how their business operates and don't really seem to care because they're pushing their own political agendas. And I'm not saying it's everyone, obviously. There are some boardrooms I've walked into where the CEO is seriously impressive. But in a lot of cases, I will be sitting there going, this guy? This guy's running your sales operation? No wonder it's a shit show.